We acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which these films have been made all over Australia. We acknowledge Elders past and present and all First Nation peoples watching us today. Hi everyone, it's time to get in the groove. I'm Carol and welcome to Seniors in the Groove, the best of the Victorian Seniors Festival 2020. We're shining a light on some creative and inspiring talent featured online in the Victorian Seniors Festival 2020. We've got music, song, dance, performances from a diverse range of cultures. Seniors in the Groove, created especially for Victorian seniors. Welcome to our very last TV show, Seniors in the Groove, the best of the Victorian Seniors Festival 2020. Thanks for joining us over the last 10 weeks. If this is the first time you've been watching the show, welcome. You can catch up on any of the videos that have been on the show on Seniors Online Victoria. So don't miss out. To kick off with today, we have cabaret star Mark Trevorrow. Now, you might know him better as his character, Bob Down. After the break, we're going to meet TV and radio personality and Hey Hey It's Saturday icon, Wilbur Wilde. Wilbur is going to remind us of the song Bye Bye Blackbird. And a lot of you watching will remember that one. We're going to have a short segment from yours truly. And then we're having a humorous look with Swampy at what it means to be retired. He's the safari suit wearing lounge singer with gorgeous teeth, the host of regional daytime telly show Good Morning Mwilumba. No, I'm not interviewing myself today. Instead, we welcome back a Victorian senior festival favourite, Mark Trevorrow, the curious mind behind the Prince of Polyester, Bob Down. Mark, are you ready? Great, I'm rolling. Mark, how did your television viewing as a youngster inspire the creation of Bob Down? TV when I grew up in Melbourne in the 60s was so camp. They were all so camp. Bert Newton and Graham Kennedy and Philip Brady and Bruce Mansfield and Mary Hardy, everybody was just so unbelievably camp. That's where Bob comes from. And I think it connects with people's feelings and memories of what radio and TV and showbiz was like back then. It continued on right through the 80s and 90s in Melbourne with the wonderful Hey Hey It's Saturday, on which I appeared. By the way, I did appear on AA at Saturday. I was at Daryl introduced me to Donny Osmond backstage and Donny Osmond refused to shake my hand. Lovely days, the 80s. But you see, John Blackman, Pete Smith, all of those amazing guys, they went right back to those early days of television in the same, and they're inspired by it in the same way that I was inspired by it. One of my favourite partnerships of Bob's is with the one and only Coralie Hollow. Gina Riley. Gina Riley and I have been making comedy together since we met in 1980. Gina and I met when she was 18 and I was 21, and we met at Wendy Harmer's 25th birthday party. That's how long ago it was. And I was working with Wendy at that time on the Melbourne Sun News Pictorial. I was doing my cadetship. We were both journalists. Wendy and I were both journalists at the, uh, at the Sun, which is now the Herald Sun in Melbourne. And... Uh, we had started a little group called the Globos, me and my friend Wendy Dual and a bunch of friends, and we'd put on shows at, at a party at our flat. And uh, I met Gina, who was in a little cabaret group called the Droulettes with Karen Fairfax and Gina Mendoza. Oh, my and, goodness. Uh, yeah, I know. Talk about names. And names, darling, <laughs> names. And so G Gina and I met when she was 18 and I was 21, and we instantly fell in love. She was so excited to meet a boy that knew all about Liza Minnelli and Judy Garland. Whoops. Uh, she was very excited for about a minute. And, and then uh, we created Coralie, in fact, four years before I created Bob. I'm Bob Down. I'm Coralie Hollow. Yes, and Coralie 
is inspired by a wonderful lady uh, on uh, Melbourne television who'd come down from Brisbane TV, a lady called Annette Allison, who was a big, blousy, fabulous TV presenter who was doing a show called um, Good Morning Melbourne with another little guy called Roy Hampson. And we were just so in love with her sort of chutzpah and her sort of um, doing shout-outs to all of her friends and people that she was involved in business with. It was sort of just very, our kind of showbiz. So Gina and I were obsessed with Annette and um, Coralie is a direct, uh, directly inspired by Annette Allison and all of those kind of daytime TV ladies. When I first was doing the Bob Down character, I sort of, in terms of breaking through on mainstream media in Australia in the early 80s, mid 80s, I was sort of like the only gay in the village. It was quite e electrifying that, that I was so obviously gay both as myself when I started doing Good News Week, uh, as myself in the late 90s on the, when it was on the ABC, and also being Bob. And I came up against a lot of resistance and sort of um, uh, people wouldn't, in the business weren't very comfortable with how it, it was gay it was. There were so many people in the business who were gay and lesbian, but they were closeted and no, nobody thought it was... People thought that they could sort of make little winks and nods towards it, but nobody was actually out. Mark, we can't wait for you to come down and perform at the Coming Back Out Ball as part of the Victorian Seniors Festival in the near future. Melbourne is my hometown. I am a Murrumbina boy. Mark, it's been an absolute treat talking with you. Can you introduce the song that Bob's going to perform today on In The Groove? It's a classic. It's a, it's a classic of pride and defiance it's uh, I Will Survive. I actually had a hit record with this. My version of this was a hit in 1995 and I'm very proud to continue singing it to this day. <laughs> I Will Survive. Hi, kids. This is a song that's been pretty good to me over the years. In fact, I gave it to Gloria Gaynor. <sighs> I'll leave it to you to decide who does it better. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kelly and I could never live without you by my side But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong And I was strong And I learned how to get along And so you're back from outer space I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face I should have changed that stupid lock I should have made you leave your key If I'd have known for just one second You'd be back to bother me Go on now, go Walk out the door just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. Think you better dance now. Come on, get out of that rubber chair, Grandma. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young. We can all get up and shake a tail, brother. It's so cold the strength I had not to fall apart. Just trying hard to mend the pieces of my broken heart. And I spent oh so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. Did you know I cried? <laughs> but now I hold my head up high and you see me. Somebody new. I'm not that chained up little person still in love with you And so you felt like dropping in and just expect me to be free Oh sure, I'm saving all my loving for someone who's loving me Go on now, go, walk out the door Just turn around now, because you don't believe oh, I want you the one who tried to hurt me with your mind Did you think I'd crumble? Ha! Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I I will survive Oh, you know the words. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. Because you know when you leave us. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Ha! Did you think I'd play? No. Oh no, not I. Security! 
I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. Exhausting. Have a great seniors festival <laughs> reimagined. For more information on the Seniors Online Festival or to watch more videos, please visit seniorsonline.vic.gov.au. I'm Beck Reed and welcome to the Victorian Seniors Festival Reimagined in 2020. This week the theme is Left of Centre and we're pretty delighted to welcome one of Australia's most beloved musicians, a TV and radio personality. It's our favourite saxophonist, Wilbur Wilde is here. G'day Wilbur. Peace and love to you Beck Reed. How are you going? All the better for seeing you Wilbur. What has been your most left of centre Pursuit. Well, I think the the arts, really, the uh, live performance, whether it's TV or radio or stage, theatre or on stage with rock and roll bands or jazz bands, it's kind of left of centre for somebody who was actually studying the sciences and uh, preparing to become a doctor. What was the moment or the or the trigger? When I was about ten years of age, I had bronchitis, and Doctor Jolly suggested that as well as swimming and physiotherapy, he said. Hey, uh, maybe play a wind instrument. So my grandparents went and bought me a clarinet, which I still have. And Wilbur, how specifically did the saxophone become a big part of who you are? There was a vacancy in the cadet band in about, oh, it might have been third form. I said, um, great, I'll take it. And I thought, saxophone, bigger, shinier, louder, and the chicks dig it. Not that I knew anything about chicks then, I still don't. And Wilbur, what was it or is it about jazz music that really speaks to you? The never-ending permutations and combinations, the melody of it all, you know, the rhythm, the, the, the history of jazz. I've got 300 heroes I could rattle off who just inspire me, who play beautifully, and music just has that thing where it evokes emotion. Musical memory is very deeply embedded. That's why we'll hear a tune 30 years, 40 years down the track and go, wow, remember that night? It all comes back. So I consider myself very lucky. I'm cursed with a good memory. And, um, uh, you know, I just I try and remember as many tunes as I can. I know six so far. Can you share with us your recent experiences in aged care environments? My friend Peter Brolger Coglin, who played bass with Goanna and also with John Schumann on I Was Only 19, he went into aged care about 17 years ago as a music therapist. So we have teamed up on many an occasion to do an hour's concert. It's been terrific for me because more often than not, after our concert, and we'll play By the Light of the Silvery Moon, or, you know, these days we can do a dragon song, April Sun in Cuba. Um, you know, and then more often than not, I'll stick around for a cup of tea and a lemon slice and listen to stories, cross-generational stories from the residents. And I mean, I can share some of my stories, but listening to their lives is incredible. You know, 93 year old Dot, who grew up in Fitzroy North, where my mum grew up. My girlfriend is a palliative care nurse the residents came, they sat on their verandas, they sang along, some of the carers brought other residents along. You've also spent time with musical greats, Vince Jones, you'll be well known and loved from playing with bands like Jojo Zepp and the Falcons. What has been to date a career highlight? I've played in front of crowds of hundreds of thousands, concert of the decade in 1979 on the steps of the Sydney Opera House. We've played to tens of thousands uh, with the Falcons in the United States at the Oakland Coliseum in 1980. On the other end, uh, playing with 
Paul Grabowski, um, Billy McDonald, David Hicks at the Tankerville Arms pub. And that was a rainy Melbourne Thursday night. And there might have been 25 or 30 people there. But everything clicked. Can you share with us a little bit about the song that you've shared for the Victorian Seniors Festival? And it's been recorded 100,000 times by different artists. But I love the structure of the tune. I th the lyric of the tune is lovely. There's, there's melancholy, there's love, there's a bit of hope and there's friendship. And uh, it's probably a, probably a good tune for the times. up all my cares and woe Here I go swinging low By, by Blackbird Where somebody waits for me Sugar is sweet and so is she By, by, by Blackbird No one there to love and understand me Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Hey! Make my bed and light the light. I'll be home late tonight. Blackbird. Bye bye. What about you but I think that as I get older I start thinking about things I never ever thought about before like pondering the mysteries of the universe. A few years ago I was staying at a cabin at Seal Rocks in New South Wales and there on the grass is a goanna basking in the sun and I thought I wonder how long do goannas live for? No idea. Then we went swimming in the ocean and I'm swimming along, looking underneath. And I thought, do fish drink water? I mean, these are all things I'd never ever thought about. Then I'm sitting on the veranda, looking out over the bush. And I started pondering one of the greatest mysteries of all time. What is my natural hair color? Like, what is it? You know, what's one of the greatest inventions since sliced bread? Yes, hair colour. Now, when I say that expression, since sliced bread, I go, hang on a minute. I can actually remember back to when bread wasn't sliced. Jeez, I must be getting on a bit. 
we decide to jump in the car, drive to the local town to get some provisions. I'm in the back seat with the kids, the 20 something kids, and inside the back seat of the pocket of back seat pocket of the seat is this pamphlet and I take it out and I look at it and it says exercise for mature women health for mature women and it's like oh hang on there's something wrong with this where's the exercise for immature women where's the health for immature women and then I thought hmm if everyone over 60 is a senior, that must mean that everyone under 60 is a junior. Yes, I dare you. Next time you see someone under 60, say, hey, junior, how's it going, junior? Can you help me with this, junior? See what happens. What about seniors week? Why don't we call it frisky after 60? Or silver Fox Week. Seniors Festival 2021. Why don't we call it the Silver Fox Festival 2021? Now, to finish off our very last show, we're going to have some fun and laughs with Swampy taking a look at what it means to be retired. As you are Go, doggies! Oh, good day, folks. Old Swampy here. Life advisor and philosopher of no fixed address. Uh, today's question comes from Brian. G'day, Brian. How's it going? Uh, Brian asks, Dear Swampy, what's it like to not have a boss? Well, Brian, I guess you're alluding to the fact I am of no fixed vocation. Some people would even call me a bum. I prefer to call it self-unemployed. Oh, it's great. You can start and finish the day whenever you want. In fact, some days I don't start at all. If you ever get pestered by the cops, I always just give them a work-related response. Like if they say to me, Hey, Swampy, what are you doing sleeping underneath that park bench? I just go, uh, I'm on leave without pay. Huh? If they go, Swampy, stop harassing that stranger for money. I just tell them, Officers, I'm trying to run a small business here. It's the Australian thing to do. Huh? If they go, Swampy, we believe you stole that mandarin from that large supermarket over there. I just say to them, well, times are tough. I was just digging into my super. Give it a go. It works every time. See you later, folks. Uru. <laughs> go, doggy. Swampy. He's really very clever. Swampy. He's really very clever. We hope you've enjoyed Seniors in the Groove, the best of the Victorian Seniors Festival 2020. We've had music, stories, dance, performances, from a diverse range of cultures. We look forward to seeing you at the Seniors Festival 2021. I'm Carol and this is Seniors in the Groove.